people welcome back to my channel hope you guys are having a fantastic September so far I just got out of the shower and excuse my face <laughs> but I am getting ready to go to at home to check out the Halloween decor since it is September now I'm hoping they have all of the lines out in stores some other YouTubers have been saying actually that they're starting to put out the Christmas already, which is a little upsetting. So hopefully we didn't miss the Halloween. We're going to go today and see what they have. Of course, I'm going to show you guys everything that I see that I think is cool. If there is a huge collection left, I'll probably just point out a few things that I think are unique. I don't like to make my videos super long, so I probably won't show every single thing I see. But I will show you guys some cool stuff if I see anything. And of course, stay tuned to the end to see what I bought. But for now, I'm going to go get ready, get in the car, and we're going to go to At Home. So let's see what they have. So when we did get to At Home, luckily they did have a ton of Halloween left. And they were actually starting to put out the Christmas stuff. So they moved the Halloween into a middle section, but luckily there was a lot left. So now I'm going to show you all what they had. Um, everything was organized by the different lines that they sell, such as Halloween Heroes and Halloween Hoedown. So everything was kind of grouped together in their different lines that they sell every year. As you can see, they had a small Nightmare Before Christmas section, and I did end up buying that Zero. He was only $5, and I love to buy Zero items because he reminds me of my wiener dog Penny. The next section that I saw was the gothic line. They had these mugs that were really cool that say, you goth this, you know, we all need some morning motivation. And I also really liked this spider web cake stand. I did see something similar at Joann's this year as well, which is interesting. But I think this would be perfect for an everyday spooky kitchen or even a Halloween party. They also had a few skull items in this section as well, like a cookie jar and plates. But I believe they sold those last year too, so I decided not to film them. Next, I saw these really cute owl pillows. This was in the traditional Halloween section. And I'm really a sucker for orange and black Halloween decor, so I thought they were really pretty. In the Halloween hoedown section, I found this skeleton playing the banjo, and I thought he was really cute, so I wanted to show him. I believe he was like 60 or $70, but for an animatronic that size, I don't think that's a bad deal. These white stacked pumpkins right next to him were pretty cute as well, and the eyes glow red, which I thought was also cool. And then I saw this spooky house that I thought was really nice. The spooky house lit up too, but unfortunately the tester wasn't working. I also really liked this this little witch's broom that said Happy Halloween. It's definitely farmhouse decor, but I think it would work with a general witchy aesthetic as well. And it was only $6.99, which I don't think is bad at all. I might actually go back and get that because I think it's really cute. Speaking of witchy decor, the next section that I'm showing is actually the witch section. I really liked the I'll put a spell on you sign. As you guys can see, it's black and green and white and went perfect with my coffee bar that I recently decorated. So you guys know I had to pick that sign up. I believe that was also $5 as well. They also had all these spooky looking demented plants, which honestly I don't think are made well. They wanted like $10 for them, and I think they looked pretty DIY, so honestly, I feel like you could make them yourselves and probably skip out on those. Also, let me know in the comments below if you think these carrots are terrifying and not in a good way. Like, their faces just creep me out. Next in the witchy section, I saw this fortune cookie jar, or misfortune cookie jar, if you read the front. Um, I thought that was really cute and a unique piece. I haven't really seen anything like that before. Next, I found this Wolfsbane jar, which reminded me of the show You on Netflix, if you know, you know. Um, had to throw that in there, because I really like that show. For the last item in the witchy section, I wanted to show these mugs. I thought they were super cute, and if you guys can't tell, I'm kind of a mug fanatic. The graphics on these mugs are pretty vintage looking, in my opinion. And they say things like vampire brew, witches brew, crow's feet. It's like a different potion, um ingredients which i think is really cool i think these were around ten dollars for a set of four they might have been a little more but honestly that's not bad for four mugs 
Next, we're moving on to the Halloween Heroes line, which I believe is more of the cartoony, cutesy stuff. I saw this little ghost wearing a witch hat that I thought was really adorable. He was also surrounded by these really cute pillows. I especially liked this polka dotted one that says trick or treat because I feel like polka dots aren't super common for Halloween, but they definitely go. Lastly here, we're circling back around to that gothic line I mentioned earlier. I really liked this Grim Reaper statue. It's definitely a good size. It was also very weighty and made well, and it was only $22. And they also had a smaller version of this for about $10. I also think the skeletons she has chained up on the bottom are super cool as well. Next, I really liked these resin skulls that have a bat laying over the top. These light up as well, but for some reason I couldn't get any testers to work today, so you guys will just have to take my word for it. But I'm a sucker for bats and I thought they were super cute. The statue was $30, but it was definitely a good size. I didn't get a good visual of it, but that little ceramic white pumpkin to the left with the bat on it was super nice as well. You can see they had pretty much any type of resin pumpkin you could want, from bats to skulls. The one with the skull kind of coming out of the pumpkin was definitely unique. I've never really seen anything like that before either. Next, they had this really dapper Victorian skeleton couple, which I thought was super cool. Here is the man, but they also have his wife as well. They were $40 a piece, which is a little pricey, but they were actually pretty tall, and I think that they were made very well. The dress felt velvety, but her sleeves also have a lace detail that's kind of like spider webs, which I think is really nice. If you aren't tired of skeletons yet, they have these little tea light holders that are like a mountain of skulls, which I also thought were really nice. They're perfect for adding a little spooky touch to a room. The second to last item I have here to show you guys is yet another mug set. I really liked this one, especially the mug that has the different little creepy icons on it like the coffins and bats. It is perfect for an all year round dark aesthetic and they were only $15 for the set. Last but not least, there was this little skull and crossbones pillow for $14.99. It was pretty small so I would use it as an accent or decorative pillow, it's not very functional. Okay guys, so I am back from at home. I just wanted to show you some of the things that I bought while I was there. So as I mentioned in the video, I bought the, I put a spell on you sign. Here's how it looks in person. As you can see, it's very cute and definitely goes with the aesthetic of my coffee bar this year. It was only $5.99. And as you can see, it's printed on wood and it's sparkly, which I think is definitely nice. So it stands up by itself, but I just wanted to show you guys how it goes on my coffee bar. I think it looks really nice. Definitely ties in with everything else that I have already, so I'm definitely glad that I got one of those. As I also mentioned in the video, I bought the little Zero, and as you can see, I hung him from my curtain rod in my bedroom, so it kind of looks like he's flying around my room. <laughs> he's super cute, and he was only $5 as well, which is not a bad deal at all because I actually had my eye on a bigger one of these at Spirit Halloween, but it was like $25, I think. So $5.99 for this definitely isn't bad. As you can see, he's a sheet, and then if you lift it up, he's got some styrofoam on a wire here, and that's how his body is made, but he's actually poseable. I don't have him posed right now, I kind of just have him like that, but he's definitely a great addition to my room, and he is super cute. Lastly, this is an item that my husband bought, but I thought you guys would still like to see it. He bought this dragon doormat that says enter at your own risk, and he put it in front of his man cave. He is a big fan of dragons, so he saw this and thought it was perfect. And I believe this was only like $11.99, so definitely a good price, and it seems to be made well. They had this over with the gothic line, so I'm assuming that's what it was part of, but I don't know for sure. But that is the end of my video, guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and stay spooky.